Good afternoon, viewers. Today we are on the street of Abuja to find out from Nigerians what are their experiences on the high cost of living in Nigeria and their mechanism as well. Join me as we listen to what our respondents have to say. You know, the government has tried to suspend us or keep us on hold by promising us that in 180 days there will be crash in food prices. So as a matter of fact, we are... I just believe that they are not trying to play on their citizens' intelligence because I believe before they made most of this decision, for example, like subsidies gone, they should have thought of the adverse effect on the economy, the adverse effect on the people. But I guess they didn't, have their, they didn't do their homework before they made the announcement. So right now they caused the problem, so they should try and fix the problem. It's not anybody that says it's easy. It's not easy at all. The high cost of living is mad. Okay. Things increase every day. Every day things increase. Okay. Let me just put it so. Every day things increase. And if it continue like this, we can no longer be buying food stuff in the market. Okay, so the rising cost of food items is affecting everybody. Especially, there's more especially because even the students are finding Food, food that we used to buy in school for like 1k now is 2k, 25 yeah. you know, to get a decent meal. And sometimes the food vendors, they don't even like sell good quality food for the high cost they are even selling. It. And you can't really blame them because they are buying things expensive in the market. So it's really terrible. Like, it's a very pitiable situation that we have all found ourselves in. Things are very costly and are very hard. And you know, we the massive find it difficult to have our living these days. And even the people that are working, any salary, yeah, those people that are working there with salary, if you are working salary of like 100,000, I don't believe you're able to take you. Okay. Not talk about family, man. We all find it difficult. So we only need to pray and uh, to work hard to see that the country is moving to a better place. So I believe that it can come to an end only if we believe in God. But if not, this will continue even to our fourth generation. So all we just need to do is to pray hard and work hard to see that the country comes to a better place. Actually, the cost of living in Nigeria is no longer a funny thing, which each and every one of us all know about. Like the bag of rice we are buying, of how much then? 30 something thousand naira a bag. is now 80 something thousand naira, if I'm not mistaken. Talk more of our spaghetti, gary itself. In short, a lot of things about our country now is not is not longer funny. What I have to say, my like everything is cost. Now you cannot buy food for let me say you cannot buy food for five hundred again from one thousand up. Even my mommy do sell food but everything is now cost. Even rice, even beans. Now beans is higher than rice. Everything is cost. You cannot buy you cannot afford to buy anything in this country now. If you are a salary and I need to look for that thing to support it. And I pray. If government should look onto it, because these days, what I look at is, if we decide to depend on government these days, I don't believe they we are able to cope up with it. Because like me now, I work with Amak. Beside that, I have other little business that my children are handling. Talk about the school fees now, it's not something to write home about. So it's very, very difficult. Gary and rice, they are almost 2,500 now. I've been at beans, we want to. Beans is 3,300, a mood of beans. So I don't know. Now we they do beans, beans call cost pass rice, where we know they even manage to. So so on and so forth. Everything. Go to an extent to even pure water. We can't even afford to buy pure water a bag. So that's so <laughs> that's the kind of country we are in right now. I've never seen this kind of hardship like since uh, I was born into this life. Like it's it's crazier. Like I don't even know other way to put it than it's crazy, bro. Like my own, my own. It's okay. But I don't know many people is suffering for this country. Many the leaders there look at the thing is move, is move. Because even we are moving like that, it's no it's not good for, for us. But it's my own. It's, it's okay. Because I know why I get it, I know what I spend for my own family. You are you are you understand. Like my own time got. I get it where I eat it. You are you understand. But if you look many people they are suffering for this country. Do you understand what I want? So may our leaders and they be careful because anything can happen for this country, but not be me. The only thing I can advise government is that 
they should work on their ministries because there are so many ministries that are not working as they ought to be. So if government will look into those ministries that are not functioning as it's supposed, then I think they should, the person that is in charge of that ministry should be removed. Just like Gary that people normally used to drink now, even the poor can even get Gary of a mudu. A mudu of Gary then was how much? 400. 400, 500, if I'm not mistaken, or thereabouts. Now, Gary has now, has now reached the estate of 2,000 Naira, just a model of Gary. How do they want us to cope? How do, how do they want we, the Nigerians, to cope? You go to market with 10,000 Naira, you cannot afford to buy big leather of anything. Everything you buy, maybe let's say small leather, you contain inside 10,000 Naira or something. It's not fair. I just pray, since um, I was born into this world, um, I've never see anything that go up and come down. So my, my only prayer is God should continue to bless me. So I should be able to afford all this stuff. She they said 180 days now. We look forward to them. But I just hope their citizen doesn't die before 180 days. Uh, because it's hunger, you know. Even the revolution you're hearing about, everything is hunger based, not politically based. Because a lot of people are carrying out that propaganda that there is a certain people are leading people, but no. You know, a lot of people don't have honored this. I honored it because I'm also part of that. I feel the pain of ordinary people because what I can afford, not everybody can. So I know what people are going through. That's why any vacuum I have to speak for people, I will. will. Now you have heard from our respondents what they have to say about the high cost of the living in Nigeria. How about you? How are you coping in your area? Please tell us in the comment section. Simon Cornelius reporting live for the Sun TV.